Stupid good for nothing, kids. Grumble, grumble. Ah! <laughs> oh, meth heads. Let's go back. Oh, wait. Can we go to the basement? No, we need a key card. Let's go. Let's go back home. Let's go see our dad and see what he has to say. Which one were we in? Sal's place. 402. Hello, father. Where are you, dad? You still in your room just chilling? Hello, kiddo. Decided to take a break. Okay, so let's go back upstairs. Not to our house, but to, uh, I think it was on three? Where that one lady was, the handy woman, the uh, janitor. The maintenance lady, her, Lisa. Oh, yeah, right, okay. So when we talk to somebody, we need to talk to them twice to be able to actually get this list of stuff here. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here, I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call home. Going on 10 years now. Holy shit. That's cray cray. That seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? All kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. That's true. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. That's how we do. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? That's true. Wow, that's good advice, actually. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. That's pretty good advice. So do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had to come on... Had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Miss Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, uh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. I would hate living in a basement. Although you got your own vending machine. That's kind of cool. It's like living in a hotel. That would be sweet. What the hell was that? Holy crap. Hello, Larry. Yeah? Hey, um, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. It's a cool room, man. Whoa, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. <gasps> oh shit, sorry, man. It's cool, I'm used to much worse by now. So glad you like it. So, do you like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry, I live down here on my own. Well, nope, with my mom. I'm Sal, my friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad. From New Jersey. Sally face. I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Ha! That's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with the maintenance gig. That's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... Ha! Ah, it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. I gotta lose my headphones! <laughs> How long does this go on? What happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer's still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. That is some scary shit. Can we turn off this music? You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. What happened? 
Okay, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet, and I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done! Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch! She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. <clears throat> Anyways, it all happened so fast, then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, but... Not even my mom, but I trust you. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to the detective, but he won't listen to me. Without some kind of evidence, like my word isn't enough. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through that little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. This game is so weird, but I love it. This is really cool. What's this thing? That's uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day, but hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some evidence to show that detective something that they weren't looking for. <gasps> pretty quick sign, pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make a call down here and I'm just messing with you, I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure it out wasn't real. Figure it, figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. You can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery to an armed robbery like at a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little bit more believable. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press shift button there to call me. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. So there was a little bit of a... Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it's worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. Let's go. I like how we had the... Uh... Oh my god, the walkie-talkie even before we talked to him. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking. There's gotta be something else. Examine. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. <gasps> There's these little figures. Looks like one's missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Huh. That's it! I know where we can get him. Get out of there and come downstairs to the basement. He came in, took his little dude back, and it has the blood on it. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over the things. Miss Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day. I was fixing her toilet. Anyway, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Oh, that's mean, Larry. I mean, you are skinny. Fat shaming people. All right, all right, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. What else were, did Larry mention to us? He said something about Mr. Addison's tea. So maybe if we can talk to Mr. Addison, and see if we can get a little bit of his tea. Yes, coming right up. Okay. Special tea. What if we take that to Charlie and it like knocks him out, then it gives us enough time to to take it? Ah, is that tea I smell? Yes, I just got some from Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. You bastard, you just you didn't even say please to me. Oh, so tasty, so relaxing. Yeah, must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking of touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. So it's definitely the tea. The tea is the key to getting the pony. Hey, come downstairs to talk when you get a chance. Okay, so I know what we gotta do. 
the tea already makes people fall asleep. So that, that's kind of a hint for us saying, hey, if you make them fall asleep, you can grab this thing, but the tea isn't strong enough to do that. So what we gotta do is we gotta put something in it. I know we have to put something in it. So let's go talk to Mr. Addison first, grab our tea, and then we can get our asses downstairs, talk to Mr. Larry Face. And he he's young, he has drugs, he has to have some type of sl sleep aid in our bathroom. Sleep aid. That'll knock the fat bastard out for sure. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Hello, another cup. As much as I love the stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today. As surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice, and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least 20 cups today. Are you positive? This is, um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I already had three cups, and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even, oh, I have to try that. Give it here. You bitch. What an arsehole. Ah, oh, this is better than his original. I don't know how he... And he's out. Get the toy score. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in the teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help out. I do, but unless you've got some sort of evidence that... Then please refrain from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How'd you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. And that's when I noticed one has blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come to us with this info, instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, you got Oh, he is going to be so pissed at us. Welcome home. Oh, we can leave? Cool, we're outside now. Hello, detective. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. Sorry, Charlie. Book him, Dano. Bringing smiles to the dead. Oh, Jesus. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a, a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. All these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did you, that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same question all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you've completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. Trial? I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. Dude! That was freaking cool! I like this game. That was episode one. I can't wait for the next ones to come out. Oh, Steve G Gabry? Gabry? That art was awesome. The music was dope. I need to send some messages and emails right away. Holy crap! That was so cool! I love playing these types of games. Guys, guys, if you know of any more games like this, Franbo, Sally Face, let me know because I love these things. I like when it's a little bit shorter, like this. This was perfect. Half an hour episodes, fantastic. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this game. I'm going to cut it up into two parts, but you probably already know this because this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
let me know in the comments click that like button if you want to see more content ooh, shadow if you want to see more content like this click that subscribe you can come hang out with me a couple times a week it'll be fun oh this game was so cool anyways guys my name is oranges see you later subscribe and like this video oh you guys totally subscribe you're gonna see me playing games you're gonna see me doing things oh you guys totally subscribe